हेलो स्टूडेंट्स होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग फाइन आई वेलकम यू टू सी मैथ क्लासेस दिस वीडियो इज आल्सो अबाउट बेसिक मैथमेटिकल फॉर्मूलाज टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एरिया ऑफ क्वारिलेटल लेट अस टेक अ शीट ऑफ पेपर लेट अस स्टार्ट टेक एनी फोर नॉन कोलिनियर पॉइंट्स एंड जॉइन दैम We name it as A, B, C, D. Now join any one of the diagonals. Let us join A, C, and name this diagonal as D. And now we uh, draw a perpendicular from. opposite vertices and this perpendicular is called offset let us name this offset as p1 and this offset as p2 what we see that this diagonal is dividing this figure into two parts one triangle and this is the second triangle to find out area of this quadrilateral we can write area of abcd is equal to area of triangle abc plus area of triangle acd sorry This is D. In my previous videos, we have learned how to calculate the area of triangle. Area of triangle was half of the base into height. Here, base is suppose we mark it as. B one H one and B two H two. Okay, in this triangle, base is D and height is P one. In this triangle, base is D and height is P two. Now we can write. Area of A B C D is okay. Now we cut it out in second approach. We cut this figure out. Draw one more quadrilateral to show exactly equal quadrilateral. We mark diagonal as well as offsets also.
this is A, B, C, D and this is D and this is P1 and this is P2. Now we cut this figure into four pieces that is a long diagonal and a long offsets. Now if we adjust these pieces on the quadrilateral we have drawn this exactly fit on this figure that means we have we got two convent quadrilaterals now if we rotate and adjust these figures these pieces what we get a rectangle and length of rectangle is equal to D and breadth is equal to P1 plus P2 here we what we get because these are two quadrilaterals therefore if we want area of this quadrilateral that means half of area of rectangle and area of rectangle is length into breadth here length is D and breadth is P1 plus P2 now what we can write it area of quadrilateral ABCG is equal to half of diagonal into sum of offsets this is the generalization of area of quadrilateral in both the cases we generalize the formula of quadrilateral by manipulative and interesting technique hope you all are enjoying please share with your friends you love keep practicing and spread the love of learning